Tracy with The Witchcrafts. Welcome back to the 12 Cards of Christmas. Once again today we're starting with a white daisy card base that measures five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm working with some white daisy and New England ivy cardstock. I'm going to cut the New England ivy down to be a quarter of an inch smaller than our card. So our card here you see is five and a half by four and a quarter. I'll cut the New England Ivy to five and a quarter by four, and I'll cut the White Daisy another quarter inch smaller. So the card itself will end up with an edge, a white edge around the, the card. It'll set off this color really nicely. And we're gonna do some random stamping today. I'm using the Jolly Character stamp set I'm just going to bring that over and with that I've got a foam mat that's going to help give some cushion and make it easier to stamp. I'm going to take the wreath stamp and I'm going to apply that to my acrylic block. I'll give you a tip here. I know this block looks really small and you're probably wondering why I didn't pick something larger. If I pick a larger acrylic block, for example something like this, when I go to set this on my ink pad, if I rock it slightly, I may get ink somewhere else on the block. Then when I apply to my project, I'll have what they call ghost outlines, where that ink gets picked up on the card. So you could have lines here or here, but with something like this, I don't have to worry about it because the block is the exact size I need for the stamp. So I'm gonna take that white daisy cardstock and some New England Ivy ink and I am going to random stamp wreaths all over this piece of white daisy. Now when I do this, I don't normally have a stamp that's a circle, so I would normally kind of twist it here and here in all different directions. Um, because it's a circle, it doesn't really matter, but I do want to make sure that I go over the edges. I don't want this to look like it's perfectly patterned. I want it to look random and unique. And I am just going to fill up the card with wreaths so that it looks like this. Now you can see I've added one other detail here, the red berries. I filled in some of the space with my tri-blend marker. This is the deep red tri-blend and I've just made some dots to add additional color and fill in the space. Again, it's random. You're making your own pattern paper and it should look unique. So applying that to the card front, we're now building layers that look like this. In fact, we can go ahead and put this down. So I'm gonna start by matting my new cardstock piece here, my stamped piece, just using my tape runner. Apply a little bit of adhesive on the back. Kind of using the grids on my mat to help me keep things straight. I'm going to stick that down and then I'm going to stick the whole thing onto the card front. So here's my card base. It's going to open this way. Again, I'm using that grid to help me line things up. And I'm just going to stick that down. Now I'm going to cut some cardstock with our stitch bracket thin cuts. It's a set of nested stitched thin cuts, and I'm going to be using the two larger sizes. The largest size I'll cut from New England Ivy cardstock, so look like this, and then the smaller size I will cut from White Daisy. There it is. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to end up matting these and applying them to the card, but first I want to do some stamping. I'm going to put those pieces out of the way. I'm going to take this wreath stamp from the Jolly Characters and put that away. And I'm going to grab Santa and apply him again to this tiny card, I'm um, sorry, tiny My Acrylic block. I'm working now with intense black, and I recommend this ink because we're going to be using the tri-blend markers. 
Put my foam piece back out here. And I'm gonna stamp Santa right about here at the bottom. And now I'm gonna add Mrs. Claus beside him. Just a little bit of black ink. And there we go. I'm gonna use my tri-blend markers to color them in. I'm gonna give uh, Santa some red suit and I'm gonna give her a little bit of gray hair and we're gonna end up with a piece that looks like this. So again, I just used a couple of tri-blend markers to get this effect. And now we're ready to assemble the card. I just need to adhere the stitched brackets together. Again, I've got my tape runner. Line that up. I'm gonna apply it down here in the corner. And there you have it, our finished card. Thanks for joining me for today's episode of the 12 Cards of Christmas. Come back tomorrow to see what's next.